Welcome to another episode of the Molly Dixon Pro Wake Up Call podcast. We have another call in a second. Today, I'm on YouTube. Uh, man, she's, she's up to some big things, man. Just a special woman who's been here for like 20 years. And uh, not quite him, let's see, but in the home business profession, right? And if that's, or excuse me, rewind the clock here. Guys, gals, you know, she got started when she had a couple of kids at home. I'm old. A young daughter. She wanted to be at home. Really, really old. With them and create a, you know, some, some income to put some financial stress My kids out are big now. with that, with the family. They're grown ladies. And so she found home business, got started. And just like everybody, I mean, she's not technical, didn't really know what to do at all. Right? She's never had a business. She's like, every day, we see the Dan Hawkins today, but man, guys, rewind the clock is the same damn story. Like, not knowing what the hell to do, need to make the money, not technical at all, hell. 20 years hi, ago, everybody. There was nothing going I can't, on. I can't, I'm on StreamYard, so I can't right? see if you say she hi to me. I'm in the parking lot cleaning health products to strangers. So I'm not ignoring you. I'm trying to connect to anybody and everybody would listen, right? Like, that's the same thing. Now you see, Amazing Hawkman. Now we can, you know, fast forward to today. Yes, yes. yes. it's real. It's possible. The Amazing Hawkman. Right, seven figure earner in the profession. L seven leader. We've only got through one year. Got to come out to be right. Multiple revenue streams. One hundred percent free. It, it's possible. And if you're listening now, man, over the next few days, weird when we hear somebody talk about you, you're, you can get inside her brain. You can get inside about my what brain. What you can do to build a list and really nurture that list and attract a boat ton of money. Serve that drive at the highest level, ultimate level. What do you think of the black guys? You have a ton of money, and why not? Got a couple pairs. Right? Why not? So it's always a pleasure to, whenever we get together yeah, with Diane, I don't know how many courses at this point. He's playing other ones. We've launched with her, but there's a reason for that. Um, the deepabish.com tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern to get a closer, get inside it, get her in a vicinity and learn what she's been doing for the last 20 years. Awesome. Brian Aukman, welcome to. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, community. How is everybody? It is. It's gonna be hot out here today in Connecticut. It's getting hot. We're getting up into the 90s this weekend. It's gonna be a hot Father's Day. Um, shouting out some love to all the dads out there. I'm going to see my dad myself um which is nice because it's been so crazy with the COVID 19. uh i'm going to go visit we'll stay you know we won't be hugging and kissing but i'm going to go visit my daddy um and it'll be good so um guys listen i want to i want to talk to you about something that is so important and I want you to hear me. If you happen to be home or somewhere safe and you can take some notes, you should take some notes. If you happen to be somewhere where you can be quiet for a few minutes, I want you to go on a little emotional journey with me. Obviously, if you're driving or anything like that, stay safe. Sometimes you listen to the podcast, you're driving, you're downloading. Did you know? A lot of you guys may not even know. You can listen to these, you know, you can dial in every day, Monday through Friday, but you can listen to them, download them, put them on your phone, and listen to a podcast. So a lot of people listen to them that way, uh, available on iTunes and the Play Store and all that other stuff. I don't know. It's available somewhere. It's on the little graphics. Um, I want to take an emotional journey, and I want you to think about this if it's been a reality in your life. Um, it was in mine. In fact, it's a big part of why I'm here today because I want to teach you, and all day today I'm going to be teaching about leverage. I'm going to be teaching right now. I'm going to be teaching at three o'clock this afternoon. If you happen to hear this live for our members, our, our uh, members only um, prospect and recruiting training, social media, we'll be talking about a lot of stuff. And then tonight, my monthly mastermind, which is always the third Thursday of the month, I'm going to dig deep into all kinds of leverages you can gain in your business because my goal was always, and, and not to sound lazy, but I am a little bit, is to work less and, and make more money. At least in, in the beginning, I wanted to make enough money so I could stay home with the kids. And over time, I started to learn this stuff, and I realized I could work less and make more. And I know many of us grew up with families that said work hard and work for all these years and this, this, and that. Um, but I discovered this world and read a lot of books and hung out with a lot of people that basically made remarkable livings playing golf and riding around on boats and you know flying around the world. And I wanted that, and I got it. But here's where it all started. Have you ever? Because if you want to understand leverage, and most of you do, think about this. Have you ever been 
in debt. And I'm not talking a couple bucks. I'm talking about serious debt. Maybe you have student loans. You went after the American dream or the, you know, most other countries' um, education is much less expensive than it is here. You went after the American dream. You graduated and you have six figures in debt. Maybe you're in your 40s and you're still paying in. I meet people every day. They're in their 40s still paying their debt. Maybe you went on and got a master's degree or something or even further. Um, I, we here in the community have had um, doctors and lawyers and chiropractors, all kinds of people that are here looking to make extra money because even though they had gotten that profession, they were so deep in debt and working so hard that it was killing them. So have you ever been in debt? Because here's how it goes. And this is what happened to me. Um, we lived in, um, we owned a condo. And then we had the kids and the condo got too small, but the market was bad. So we rented out the condo and we rented a bigger house because we had good income, but we didn't have a down payment. We hadn't saved. So we rented a house so we could save a down payment. And then and it's a whole story for another day. I found a way to buy a house. So we actually bought a house pretty quickly. Nice house, nice neighborhood. Um, it's one of those real estate courses. Don't ask. Long story that I bought it to tag sale, believe it or not. For $10, I bought a real estate course that taught me how to buy my house. <laughs> ask me that another day. So we bought the house and um, we moved in. And I didn't think much about when we bought the house that we needed, you know, appliances because the house didn't have appliances. We needed everything. And we just charged everything because, you know, it was like six months, no interest. You, know, you go down to Home Depot and you open a credit card. And you go here and you open a credit card. And, you know, and then we had Visa and MasterCard and all this other stuff. And we had some debt before we got in there because we didn't know. We were kids and nobody taught us. My mom was the person who said uh, back in the day, always get a Sears card, honey, because Sears carries everything in case you're in trouble. Sears also charge. I don't even know if Sears exists anymore. Charge like 30 percent interest, you know. Um, so you thought it was safety. But was it really? Basically, you start out, you have a few bills. You run a little late. You start shuffling money around. You know, rob Peter to pay Paul. You get um, some late fees. Maybe, you know, you get a fee here or a fee there or whatever. And those fees are like $39. Next thing you know, the interest is piling up. The next thing you know, you can't pay them and you're late. So now the fees and the interests are really flying, right? You can't keep up. You start getting, you know, in the, in the mail, you're getting the late notices. Now you start getting the envelopes with the red print on them. Has anybody ever lived this? Have you? The red print on them, the urgent, the calls start coming. My phone would ring so much that I used to just unplug it from the wall. This is before cell phones and stuff. I don't even know if cell phones were out. Maybe the ones in the cars. The letters, the mailbox was just stacked full of bills every day. The phone was ringing off the hook. The stress, the overwhelm. Then you get into fear. Then you get into fantasy. How many of you guys have ever done that? Maybe you got into the industry in fantasy. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to make money and I'm going to overcome it. Right? You get into fantasy or you fantasize about maybe I'll go bankrupt. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll do that. And you start, you know, back then you couldn't really do research on the internet. You start doing research on all the ways to make it disappear because the leverage of the debt, and this is what I want you to understand. The leverage of the debt is so powerful over time because we're talking interest rates at, you know, 20%, 25%, 25.9%. Some of these interest rates were really high. Then I started refinancing them into like loans, but then I couldn't pay the loans. And it was, it was just a spiraling cycle. And the leverage was so heavy. Now, with student loans, it's fixed or whatever, but credit cards, they start tacking fees upon fees upon fees upon fees. And then you get to the point where you, you pay down one by $500 so that you can pay the other one. And you have $500 room and you keep charging stuff because you haven't figured out that you got to stop charging, right? And then you get to a place where you're pretty much hopeless. You've now become an indentured servant. And you're just. Sorry for the language, but you're screwed. 
I remember. I remember. And another day, in another place, I could do a call about how I got out of it. But if you've ever been in this place, you know the tears. You know the sleepless you know the fear and in my particular case my ex-husband knew but he didn't really know if that makes any sense and i was carrying the weight he knew i never bought anything without discussing it with him we bought all this stuff together and you know but i carried the weight the stress and i was the one that was trying to figure out how to how to end it And I was the one that was up all night. And I was the one that was petrified that there was going to be a knock on the door. Maybe you've never been there. I hope you haven't. But I know a lot of us have. Now, I want you to just close your eyes for a minute. And remember, if you're in it now, you know right now. You're juggling around. But if you've been there and maybe you've solved it or figured it out somehow, remember how horrible that felt day in and day out and how it went on for years and how it was draining and how it was stressful and how it made you snap at your kids or maybe at your spouse and all the things that come with that type of weight. Now I want you to think about the opposite. Here's what leverage in your home business is. And here's what I'm going to be talking about at 3 o'clock today, if you're listening live, and at 9 p.m. this evening. And here's what I live and I espouse and I preach. If you're not a member already, you get started today. It costs you a dollar. You sign up, you come to the training today, and you learn how to utilize the offer that we have going on for our challenge. And again, if you listen to this later, this applies to anything. And you go out and you get a couple people to come along and come to the challenge with you to learn about gaining leverage by building an email list. Every time you sell one, you make 30 whopping cents. And you think it's nothing. It's nothing because it's 30 cents, just like it was nothing when you you bought that pair of shoes. I know you weren't planning on it. They were a little more expensive than you thought. Or you went and bought the patio set. It was such a good deal. You had to throw it on the car. You'll pay it off next month. And then you didn't. You know what I'm talking about, guys. You bought stuff. You didn't think it was anything. The next thing you know, it's snowballing. Here. We spend a dollar and we bring some people along with us and we earn those little 30 cent commissions. The next thing you know, the people like it because we serve them and we help them. And this is a great community. And the next thing you know, the people keep their memberships and you start to earn a little money there. And the next thing you know, the people buy a product here or there and you start to learn a little bit of money there. And the next thing you know, you start to bring people along. And by the way, this applies to your MLM too. You go out, you get one person. You're thinking, I've signed up a person. I made 20 bucks. This MLM stuff's a scam. But then you start to learn and you gain leverage. And you gain leverage of the team. You gain le- leverage of the tools. You gain leverage of the, the, the speakers, the trainers. You get to utilize and leverage me for the next two weeks to help you make money. In your MLMs, you get to leverage the leaders. Here, MLSP, I'll be showing you guys. We have so many tools you can leverage. The people that walk before you, that created things for you. You can leverage it all. And the next thing you know, you start to make a check. And the check starts to be $100, $200, dollars And you're not like out of control. Just like with the debt, you're like, yeah, $1,000 is no big deal. Over here, you're like, yeah, I'm making 500 bucks, $1,000. No big deal. It's okay. You know, whatever. <clears throat> but then just like the debt, And that downward spiral happens with the leverage of the interest and how horrible it is. The same thing starts to happen in your home business. If you're consistent, you start to your team, you start to build a list and be able to invite more people faster. You start to understand how to move an audience. You start to get more people in front of offers. You start to build a team that gets more people in front of more offers, selling more product. And it becomes a machine. And before you know it, The weight of the debt and the pain 
the opposite of that is the joy and the bliss of waking up on the first of the month and you knowing that you have built a recurring income that if you wanted to go on vacation for the rest of the month, you'd still live a nice life. But if you feel like working, you're going to live an awesome life. Now, all of a sudden, instead of getting by, you have money to invest. Now, all of a sudden, instead of getting by, you can pay for the kids college. Now, instead of, you know, and that's what I did. Now, instead of getting by, you pay off your house. Who was it recently? It was Sean Johnson, paid off his house. Um, we have stories like that every day. We just had Destry just uh, was able to make enough, and he has a good job or had a good job, make enough in his business to leave his job. He did slowly and surely. And in fact, I can't wait to see him because he's here in Connecticut. We're going to get together. This is the type of thing. If you've ever felt the despair of debt, then flip it over in your head and understand the joy and the bliss of leverage in your business. And if you can wrap your head around that, you'll understand how worthwhile it is and why it's worth working and why it's worth being consistent and why making a dollar or $10 or $15 or $20 means something just like the credit card that got the credit card company that got you to open that new account is sitting there behind the scenes and they're not no individual person is doing this but that's their business they're like ha ha look they just opened a macy's card let's throw them an offer with you know no interest for 90 days and get them to buy something big ticket that they don't pay off in time and nobody's mean nobody's bad it's just the way the business works it's just the way the business of debt works. It's called leverage. Your business, when you learn to have leverage, that's just the way the business works. You wake up every month and your check is going up. You hear about people talking about the check keeps going up. You can't stop it. That's leverage. It's when you've built an email list, which is what we're going to be talking about over the next two weeks, like I did. I just figured it out. I was like this young housewife. I don't know what I was doing. Figured out how to build this list. And then all of a sudden I was doing all this volume, 20, 30, $40,000 worth of volume a month myself, retail, me 50% on that stuff. And everybody was like, what are you doing? I was like, I don't know. I'm just sending out some emails. I didn't know what I was doing. I just had accidentally gained leverage. This is the stuff that dreams are made of. And I can't promise you, I don't know you, well, maybe I do know you, but I can't promise you that you won't go do something goofy in your life and get yourself in trouble. I did. And I can't promise you that you're going to make any money. All I can do is explain the concept to you and let you do with it as you will. So this afternoon, I'm going to be teaching you how to leverage one of our incredible My Lead System Pro challenges to start to build some business here and get leads. And then tonight at 9 p.m., I'm going to be going into leverage from every angle, every kind of leverage. Most people don't realize all the ways to gain leverage. And so they tend to work too hard, do too much, spend too much. And don't get the results that they want. I'm all about leverage. It's all I do. It's all I do. It's all about leverage. I just look for leverage. Where is it? I'll sit around twiddling my thumbs, living on my recurring income. And then one day I see it. And I go, oh, like two weeks ago, I saw one. I went, oh, there you go. 88 people. $8,800. In a blink. Whoop. Because it had leverage. Join me. Go to MLSP live.org if you happen to be listening to this live sign up it's a buck if you're a member it's complimentary it's free it's included more bonuses more goodies um for those of you that are not members of my mastermind it's 25 dollars and you get all the archives for years google uh, 25 dollars can't be worth much well do you, if, what i just talked to you about is that worth much if you're in debt do you want to get out and if you understand the power of leverage now, like maybe you never did before, is it worth to learn how to use positive leverage? Because debt is negative leverage. Do you want to learn how to use positive leverage to get that same snowball effect? 
That's all we're doing over the next two weeks. Learning to build an email list is the ultimate leverage. You have to understand one format. You can also use a chat because people email's dead. Okay, great. All of us that are making money, it, it's our greatest income revenue stream. Come on, guys. Do you want to invite? Do you want to have a list so you can invite and get 30 people on your presentation tonight? Or do you want to go pounding people and try to get two? Which one's better? Email's dead. Okay. Go use a bot. Go use a Facebook group. I don't care what kind of leverage you want to use. I want you to understand leverage. And it starts with the basic fundamentals. So I'm going to wrap up the call. I'm very, very, very passionate about this. I watch people and I watch them suffer because they won't spend the time to sit down and really grasp this one concept. And that's why all the things I love to teach have to do with leverage. Leverage. It's all I ever want to give someone. I'm going to be over on the MLSP fan page, over on Facebook for just a little Q&A visit. If you guys want to talk about this, if you've been through the pain of debt um, and you know what that feels like, if you want to talk about the euphoria of having the positive leverage, if you want to talk about what we're going to do this afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern, if you want to talk about what's going on in the deep of this, if you want to share with some other people and let them know what's available, if you need help, I'll be over there. Okay. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brian Finale. I always appreciate you letting me come on here and sharing the platform with me. And I will see you guys over on the fan page. Thanks. Hey guys, for those of you that are watching on my page, um, let me know if you need the link for that challenge. We're going to be teaching you how to build a list. Um, if you've never built one, uh, you really need to learn this period over now. <laughs> And if you have kind of sort of played with it, but you haven't been consistent, um, it's really worth the buck. Um, please get it through my link so you can come be in my group, um, you know, because I mentioned the link a couple times. Um, please make sure you get a hold of me um, if you want to be a part of that. And I'm going to go over on the MLSP fan page now. Um, but if you are somebody who is connected to me and you want to be working with me, um, it's a dollar. Come join me. And when I get a chance, I'll put the links on both Facebook and YouTube. I got to run over there now. All right, see you guys in a little bit.